Once again, the realm of space has unveiled astonishing revelations. The James Webb Space Telescope has made an extraordinary breakthrough regarding our Sun. By observing a distant star, we are now granted a glimpse of what our Sun resembled shortly after its formation, shedding light on the enigmatic process of starbirth. Who could have imagined that this new space telescope would revolutionize our perception of the cosmos? While it was anticipated that James Webb would surpass the capabilities of its predecessor, the Hubble Telescope, the extent of its advancements consistently leaves astronomers awestruck. Moreover, space enthusiasts and amateur astronomers eagerly anticipate each new image captured by this extraordinary instrument. Let us marvel together at a few of the telescope's recent masterpieces. One of these breathtaking images presents the Whirlpool Galaxy, also known as Messier 51 or NGC 5194, located a staggering 23.1 million light years away, showcasing its immense spiral arms with exquisite clarity. Additionally, the Supernova 2022, a within the spiral galaxy pair, ARP 299, captivates with its captivating interplay of colors. Even the Ring Nebula, a venerable celestial acquaintance, assumes a newfound splendor thanks to the technological prowess of Webb. The telescope's filter technologies not only grant us mesmerizing glimpses into the vast splendors of the universe, but also enable us to study these formations and countless other discoveries in an unprecedented manner, surpassing any previous era in human history. Furthermore, through the observation of a particularly exceptional star, we are now granted the unprecedented opportunity to witness the early stages of our sun's birth, visualized for the first time in human history. Stars do not come into existence by chance. Have you ever pondered the intricate process of star formation? In theory, it begins with a gathering of gas and dust, set in motion by various forces such as pressure from neighboring stars or the aftermath of a supernova explosion. As the cloud spins faster and faster, its own gravitational pull causes it to condense, growing denser with time. This leads to an increase in temperature and pressure at its core, resulting in a boiling effect until the moment when nuclear fusion ignites. And just like that, a star is born. The fusion process persists for millions or even billions of years. Our Sun underwent this process approximately 4.5 billion years ago and continues to radiate its light today. Essentially, the elements for fusion are derived from the very cloud from which the Sun originated. Initially, our understanding of starbirth was purely theoretical. Scientists reconstructed the process based on fundamental physics and deduced the remaining details from Einstein's theories of relativity. It was only much later that they beheld the sight of young stars in the cosmos, confirming their theories through direct observations. But what did our young sun look like? To catch a glimpse of our star shortly after its birth, we must turn our attention to Herbig Harrow 211. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured a breathtaking image of this star, providing us with a unique impression of what our Sun must have resembled during its early stages. Herbig Harrow objects are celestial phenomena associated with the formation of young stars and star-forming regions named after astronomers George Herbig and Guillermo Haro. Both researchers made the remarkable discovery of these captivating and mesmerizing objects almost simultaneously in the 1950s. It's astonishing to consider that what appears to be a serene and reverential birth of a star is actually a rapid journey through interstellar space at supersonic speeds. The Herbig Harrow objects are the luminous patches surrounding the young star, formed when the star releases matter into the surrounding interstellar space. This process is facilitated by the star's swift motion. The protostar depicted in this image 
offers a glimpse of what our 4.5 billion year old sun might have looked like when it was only a few tens of thousands of years old and possessed just 8% of its current mass. Young stars like this one initially accumulate more mass from their surroundings, experiencing significant growth in their early stages. However, as they progress, stars undergo a contraction phase. While our Sun also loses mass, the extent is infinitesimal. The main cause of mass loss for the Sun is the solar wind, a continuous stream of charged particles emanating from its surface into space. Experts estimate that the Sun loses approximately 4.5 million tons of mass per second. Though this figure may seem immense at first glance, it is minuscule considering the Sun's total mass. Over its lifetime, the annual mass loss has had an exceedingly slight impact on the Sun's overall mass, and this trend will persist for a considerable time. Our star has only recently reached the midpoint of its lifespan. Why do young stars emit jets? The jets observed in HH211 are energetic streams of matter propelled outward from the young star, radiating in dazzling colors across space. These jets primarily consist of gas and dust hurtling through space at incredibly high speeds. Nearly all Herbig-Haro objects are accompanied by these luminous streams, which play a significant role in unraveling the mysteries of star formation and the interactions between young stars and their environment. The jets of HH211 are classified as bipolar, meaning they project in opposite directions. They stretch into space along the axis of rotation of the young star, extending both upward and downward. These jets exhibit an extraordinary velocity, often reaching several hundred kilometers per second. This high speed results from the immense energy released during the interaction of matter within the protostar. When these jets collide with the surrounding interstellar medium, they create shock fronts characterized by increased density and temperature. Within these shock fronts, the jet material encounters interstellar gas and dust, presenting another captivating spectacle perfectly captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. Thanks to the telescope's ability to capture and display unique intensities of light, we can now study Herbig-Haro objects like HH211 in even greater detail. The light waves provide valuable insights into the surrounding processes of this object located approximately 1,000 light years away. They unveil details about the involved elements, the density of dust and gas accumulations, and the velocities at play around the object. Upon analyzing the data from HH211, researchers discovered that the jets contain abundant molecules, including carbon monoxide, silicon monoxide, and molecular hydrogen. HH211 serves as an ideal object of study for researchers, being one of the youngest and closest stars that eject matter. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we can now observe the birth of stars with unparalleled closeness and precision. What did the first stars in the cosmos resemble? Would you believe it if I told you that we have no concrete understanding of how the initial stars in the universe formed? It may sound astonishing, but it's true. No researcher has ever observed or thoroughly analyzed such a star. But why is this the case? Well, observing the early phases of the universe presents a significant challenge. The light that reaches us has been greatly stretched by the expanding space, causing it to shift into the red range of the spectrum. The James Webb Space Telescope has managed to identify the oldest light signals in the universe, which appear as dark red and blurred. However, it is still uncertain whether these signals are truly galaxies. Recognizing individual stars within these formations is a challenging task. Fortunately, a stroke of luck occurred with the discovery of one of the oldest single stars known as WAHL0 137LS or E. Rendell. This star was significantly magnified by the gravitational lensing effect, where the curvature of space-time caused by massive objects like galaxies or black holes acts as a convex lens, 
amplifying background objects to a degree that individual stars become visible. Under normal circumstances, these stars would be too small to detect in the vastness of the cosmos. Another object believed to be one of the oldest single stars is SMSSJO 31300.36600.7839.3, also known as SM0313. Scientists estimate that this star could be 13.6 billion years old, suggesting it belongs to the first generation of stars. These hypothetical stars, referred to as Population 2 stars, are thought to have formed from primordial gases and dust remaining from the Big Bang. Due to cosmic shifts, these clouds began to vibrate, condense, and collapse under their own weight, initiating fusion processes. The first-generation stars were likely massive compared to present-day stars, possibly hundreds to thousands of times the mass of our Sun. The absence of heavy elements played a crucial role in their formation. With only light elements available, these stars produced intense radiation and temperatures reaching tens of thousands of degrees Celsius. Their short lifespan of a few hundred thousand years ended with explosive events that dispersed heavy elements, paving the way for the formation of new types of stars, including stars like our Sun. However, these scenarios remain theoretical, as the existence of SM0313 has yet to be definitively proven, and its age and composition remain unclear. The facility that was instrumental in the initial sighting of this star was unfortunately destroyed in a fire in 2003, leaving the astronomical community eagerly awaiting the James Webb Space Telescope's attempts to rediscover this extremely distant star. The formation of the very first stars in the universe is an enthralling topic that will continue to captivate scientists for a long time. The James Webb Space Telescope has already challenged researchers' preconceived notions about the appearance of the first galaxies, and there is much anticipation for the surprises this exceptional telescope will unveil. Thank you for watching, and we would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with new videos. Until next time, this is Cosmos Prodigy.